In this installment of the Barbados Bus Tour, I travel from Hull Town to Spitestown and back, all along the coastline on Highway 1B. The ride is a short one, less than 10 kilometers, which is about six miles for my American viewers. On the way up to Spitestown, I was facing inland, and on the way back down to Hull Town, my view was of the coast. The inland view, as one travels to Spitestown, is not touristy. It's much more down to earth, with many normal private residences lining the highway. Similar to houses I saw on my previous bus tour in Bridgetown, the residences here often have small front yards, but it's fun to see that some manage to densely decorate them. Many of these residences will have fruit trees growing in their backyards. In fact, a few months ago, I was having a conversation with someone who lives along this road. She mentioned she had a mango tree in her yard, and ultimately, I bought a couple homegrown mangoes from her. They were delicious. There are also a number of smaller restaurants that are probably favorites among the local community. They're not always well advertised, but in my experience, the harder the restaurant is to find, the better the food tastes, because you know their menu is full of authentic family recipes passed down for generations. Overall, this side of the highway is a peaceful, laid-back part of the island, despite being adjacent to a fairly busy highway. When arriving in Spicetown, you immediately notice that it too has a small town feel, despite being the second largest town in Barbados. On the way back down to Hull Town, facing the coastline, it's a much different view, dominated by rentals and resorts with occasional pockets of traditional homes. Many of these touristy properties, whether they're private rentals or vacation resorts, will have large fences, walls, or rows of bushes blocking the view of the property. It's important to note that even though they're built immediately next to the sand, all beaches in Barbados are public, and no private residents can prevent you from using the beach next to their home. Most private residences will have fences next to the beach clearly designating the start of their property. If you're on the right bus, you'll notice that their horn isn't a normal horn, but rather it plays the melody to La Cucuracha. The first time I heard this bus horn, I laughed out loud at how silly it sounded. But I had to admit, it's a great idea. Every time you hear it, you know a bus is coming soon. Drivers on this two-lane highway love to pass slower-moving cars, which I think is nuts. But at least they honk before passing, so that's a little better, right?
In a place as sunny and hot as Barbados, you quickly learn to appreciate the shade that trees provide. And this part of the highway has a lot of tall, mature trees. While they do block the view of the sunset, the shade they provide each day is a fair trade-off in my mind. One of my favorite restaurants is along this road, but true to Barbados form, it does not have a large flashy sign, so you're almost guaranteed to miss it when you first look for it. There it was. Did you catch it? It's Juju's Beach Bar, and I highly recommend anyone visiting Barbados to find time to grab a meal here. Their grilled fish is top notch, and the combination of the view and the ambience cannot be topped. Thank you all for watching, and until the next video, take care.